Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's online class. Today, we'll be looking at 2015-2016 Nigerian Mathematics Olympiad Junior Category First Round. The question says A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O is a regular pentadecagon, 15 gun. That means a regular polygon with 15 sides. Find angle A, C, D. Okay, to provide solution to this question, let's recall the formula for interior angle of a regular polygon, which is 180 degrees into bracket N minus two close brackets over N. Where N is the number of sides of uh, number of sides of a regular polygon given. Okay, so from there we take a look at this. Angle is equal to 180 degrees, like I've said, N minus two close bracket over N. And um, the regular polygon given is pentadecagon, which is 15 sides. Okay, so replace our N with 15, and that's going to be 180 degrees into bracket 15 minus two over 15. 15 minus two will give us 13. So that will be, the next step will be 180 degrees times 13 divided by 15. And when you simplify these, 180 degrees times 13 divided by 15, that's going to give us 156. That means um, each interior angle of a regular pentadecagon is 156. We have another method of solving this. And what is the second method? We take a look at the um, exterior angle of a regular polygon. And the exterior angle of a regular polygon, the sum is equal to 360. So to get each of the exterior angle of a regular polygon given, that means we need to divide 360 degrees by the number of sides of the partic uh, particular polygon given. Okay, and uh, to take a look at that, that is going to be uh, method two. And this is going to be angle is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees divided by 15. The 360 degrees divided by 15 is talking about the exterior angle of a polygon. Okay. And from there, whatever result you get, subtract it from 180 because angle on the straight line will be equal to 180. So that will give you the result of the interior angle of that particular regular polygon. Okay, so 360 divided by 15, that's going to give us 24. And when you subtract 24 from 180 degrees, and that's going to be 156 degrees. So you can either use the first method or the second method. Okay, we're not done yet. Let's take a look at the next um, step. Find angle A, C, D. It will not be convenient for us to draw um, the regular polygon with 15 sides. Okay, so what we need to do is to just have a sketch. And how do we go with the sketch? You can have a sketch that will show A, B, C, D, and probably E, so that we'll be able to find angle A, C, D. And that's going to be what we have on the screen. So what we need to do now is to find A, B, C, D, and E. Now from the question, what I'll need to do now is to join um, A to D, okay? Join A to D and also join A to, to C. And don't forget, when we are talking about a regular polygon, that simply means um, all sides are equal. Okay, so that means the side is equal to this side. Okay, if AB is equal to BC, then triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle. And one of the properties of an isosceles triangle is the base angles are what? Are equal, meaning the base angle that we have here they are equal, this angle here and this angle here. And how do we get that? Don't forget this angle given here is given to be what? 156 degrees. And that is what we have got in there, okay? 156 degrees. And um, we're dealing with isosceles triangle. If we subtract 156 degrees from 180 degrees, which is the sum of angles in a triangle, we'll be having 24. And because it is base angles of the isosceles triangle that we're dealing with and they are equal, so we divide the 24 by two and that will be 12. That means angle A here is going to be 12 and um, angle C as well here is going to be what? It's going to be 12. Okay, so if we're done with that, now let's look at um, triangle A, C, D. Triangle A, C, D. And um, the angle we'll be looking at this time, let's take a look at the angle at this point, which is on C angle C here, okay. Now, of course, we know that the whole of this angle here is what, 156, because each interior angle of a polygon with 15 sides is equal to 156, okay. 
So if that is the case, now the whole of this one is what we are looking for now. And the whole of this one here is 56. So subtract, sorry, 156. Subtract 12 from 156, which is the whole of this angle here. And that means we'll be having the angle here. So what we're trying to explain is this. From here to here is 156, okay? And this one here is what we're looking for. So if we subtract 12 from 156, automatically we're going to get this angle here. And that will be what we have as um, triangle ACD is equal to 156 minus 12 degrees is equal to 144 degrees. So the final answer to this question, which is find the angle of ACD, looking at the diagram here, A, um, C, and what, and D. So that means the angle is 144 degrees. All right, we have come to the end of today's class. Thank you. See you next time.